Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, another 3D piece, another clothing piece for Genesis to female. And this one is loosely inspired by Greco-Roman culture. This is something that I usually do because I just really enjoy adapting this style, adapting this visual style. So you will often see this. This specific piece is a purple piece, I would say. It has a top piece that is leaning on armor, but it is definitely not armor. It is more or less a two-piece bikini with additional pieces on the shoulders and the neck. And the third piece is this drape that goes around loosely around the body. The first piece um, that I'm working on is copy pasted from the last from last week's full body set the nightgown uh, negligee kind of clothing and I altered it as you can see I've extruded a few pieces to have it be bigger before I then extracted apart and made this the top brim which I'm currently working on or working on adorning the yeah the idea is just to have a simple crest or a simple brim adorned with jewels and as you can see the jewels are really simply a a donut shape and a flat surface that i then altered a bit to yeah give the impression of a uh, small gemstone or small uh, yeah, piece of jewelry. It is not really complicated, mostly this was copy pasting the jewelry pieces before I copy pasted both fights. One of the problems that I encountered was that I forgot to actually work on the brim with symmetry on and one of the workarounds that I found for this so what I'm showing here, I'm actually cutting half of this away. You can see this in a bit when I'm actually copy pasting the gemstones over to the other side of the body. Right there, and you can see that this doesn't fit. So what I basically did is, um, first I tried to just cut a few pieces. And in the end I decided I'm going to cut away half. Copy paste the other half, the, the one that I actually oriented correctly. I used the weld tool to weld both pieces together and then just weld the points to have a complete symmetrical brim here <clears throat> and then copy paste the gems over. For the second part I didn't use a pre-made piece, I made this from scratch and you can see that I'm using a flat surface, a grid that I'm then assigning to the body here very tightly and yeah this was also the point where I took a first major break because I was starting to do this basically when I came home from work so after this first step I basically just took a bit of a break which you don't see obviously but yeah and then after moving I had to just adjust everything to really fit around the body with no clipping this uh, wasn't taking so long and then extra again I used extrusion tool to create the piece of a brim here the brim is usually used by extruding apart then extracting it and then using the thickening tool to just give it more substance so it actually looks or it actually is a three-dimensional piece what I noticed is the brim is too small to fit the same size of of jewels that I used before. So what I did is I extruded it again, adjusted it, and then I was able to fit the jewels on this piece as well. You can see that it goes relatively high, but it is not close. So this is one of the things you can do in 3D. I can just make clothing that wouldn't physically work in the real world. 
um, because I don't have to. It, it just works here in any way I want. But yeah. What I did is I uh, also made a choker necklace pendant thing last week that is part of the other set. It's not in the video, but it is was meant as part of that set. I copy pasted this in here as well because it is usually just good to keep bases around like, like a choker base, like a full body suit that you can alter quickly in case you just have a quick idea you want to do and you don't have to do any uh, everything from scratch every time. <coughs> Sorry for that. Lastly the shoulder piece which I actually forgot some details on which I just now noticed when re-watching the whole thing. You can see that I'm thickening this but the second idea was after the thickening to just adjust the shoulder pieces and like each of these flame pieces to extrude it for itself so it gets a bit thicker but it also gets a bit more detail and a bit more yeah, difference between the different flame parts but well uh, something that I can easily do later on another idea that I had that I didn't do this time because this video was becoming very very long at this point already was to alter the second side of this so the, the right and the left shoulder to have different shapes of the flame so this is something that I might do at a later occasion I don't know something that comes on the never-ending list of I want to revisit this I want to revisit a few pieces yeah I also imported the chain links that I always use simply because making the chain link each time just takes time and I for, for that explicit reason I made a save file with just the different chain links I have so I can easier just work with this and just include the different pieces here. Now you can see I'm copy pasting the other side and the last piece that I'm building is basically this wrap, this garment that wraps around the body. Started with a simple grid again with a simple plane and then used the extrusion tool mostly to fit this around the body to give this a neat kind of kind of good shape. Yeah. And this was kind of the whole thing. It took way longer than expected because all the little details that I added just add up in the end to a lot of time. For example, just copy pasting all the jewels and then copy pasting left to the right noticing that something is amiss and that I have to redo part of the brim on the slip uh, took some time adding a few details and a few pieces uh, took some time or just here checking that all the pieces don't clip into the body is another piece copy pasting or making a new piece of jewelry that I can just hang onto the fabric here also took uh, just some more time than expected so yeah it is all these little details that take time but that are part of the whole thing here I try to make a teardrop like object and I try to start with the with the cube but in the end I, I just took another approach for this which worked way better yeah and that's basically this set I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoy the visuals if you want you can like subscribe to the channel like the video and yeah that's everything for today I hope you all Stay healthy, I hope you all stay safe and I hope I see you guys in the next video. As usual there is a render at the very end so uh, for those who want to skip the last few seconds of the UV mapping that I'm doing right now 
you are just almost there and then you have the final render of this week's piece thanks and see you guys around